Hey guys, welcome to the NCA Level 2 Algebra Prep Questions. This is a viewer question uh, submitted through Facebook. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below or just send a message, screenshot of the question on Facebook. And also subscribe to keep up with some of these questions as the year goes along. Anyway, let's get to this question. Now, when you're dealing with fractions in Level 2 Algebra, uh, it's a common it's a common mistake what people do is like they... They might have seen this where they, they talk about the cross multiplication or the upside down barbecue sometimes. All right. And so naturally what people tend to do this is they actually do this. So when they have 4y over x plus 3 over x squared y. So, you know, they, they kind of do this whole cross multiplication and upside thing, whatever you want to call it. Right. But what happens is that it actually creates a lot more work for you because when you have to simplify the answer, you like when you do the, this particular method on the what I'm showing you this upside down barbecue method is that uh, you end up uh, an answer that's actually a lot more bigger especially when you're dealing with like um, big quadratics uh, the problem can get really really messy so how do we actually do this real um, easily so what I tend to do is I always kind of write them with a bit of space and I just look at the denominators all right um, at the moment I've got an X here and I've got an x squared in the right hand side fractions denominator which means I got to actually have another x on the left hand side so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this x with another x but if I multiply it in the denominator I also have to multiply it in the numerator and the reason I do this is because x divided by x is 1 so I'm just kind of like you know just adding another element in there then I have a look at what else am I missing in this um, right hand um, left hand side compared to the right hand side so I actually got a y here so that means I got to come back here and in the denominator I'm going to multiply by a y which means I got to multiply in the numerator by a y as well all right and when I do this um, now I've got in the numerator I've got 4y times y times x which is actually equal to 4x squared y all right and in the denominator I'm going to have x squared y plus 3 over x squared y. So simplifying this now, it's 4x squared y plus 3 over x squared y. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys another question. Now, so say for example you're thinking, now I'm going to, you know, this is just too complicated, I'm going to go with the upside down method. So if you do the upside down method, what happens is that you get 4y times x squared y, because I'm, I'm cross multiplying this way. So I get 4y multiplied by x squared y plus 3 times x here and that's divided by x multiplied by x squared y so what you end up getting is 4 x squared y squared plus 3x over x cubed y now you're thinking what's wrong with this well let's have a look all of this if you look at all the x there's a it's a you can actually take it out as a common factor and most people what they think is they think this is the answer and they leave it like this and that's where it's not right. So they'll actually say in the questions, simplify fully. So let me show you another example and we'll actually go through from that. So let's say you have something like this. So you got two, I'm just gonna kind of space it out here. And we're gonna go plus three over x minus two. Actually, you know what? Let's try x squared minus one. Now, the issue with this one is that, um, you know, you, if you actually do a quadratic, I'm sorry, if you do cross multiplication, what ends up happening is that you're going to end up with a cubic in the denominator. But I'm going to show you guys another quick way of doing this. So let's go make this example two. So what we have is two over x minus one. Now, the trick here is looking at x squared minus one, we can actually factorize that. We can factorize that as x minus one and x plus one. So if we now look at the denominators, what we have is in the left hand side, we've already got an x minus one and also we've got an x minus one in the right hand side. So the only thing that's missing in the left hand side is the x plus one. All right. So basically I need to have x plus one here. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the denominator by x plus one and I'm going to repeat the same thing with the numerator. I'm going to multiply with an x plus one, but make sure you put the brackets around it. Because what then you, what then happens is you've got 2 times x, which is 2x, 2 times 1, which is 2, and we've got plus 3 at the end. And of course, the denominators are the same right now, so I can put them all as one denominator. 
and I'm going to put it as x minus 1 and x plus 1. Simplifying this now, I'm going to get 2x plus 5 over, I mean, if I really want, I know what it is going to be. I can expand it to be x squared minus 1. Cool. That's basically it for this uh, little video, guys. So if you have any more questions like this at level 2 algebra, uh, just when you send it to um, send a message to me on Facebook, can you just make sure you put down level 2? So I don't want to freak out the level 1s by doing a question like this um, when it's a level 2 question, if, if that makes sense. Cool. Thank you. That's it for this uh, little question here. Uh, as always, don't forget to like and share this video and of course subscribe to keep up with the latest content and for also notifications on live tutorials. That's it from me guys. Thank you for watching.